Maker of Love Homestead, guys. Welcome back. Little Chickies got moved out. Little hey, Chickies got moved out into their brooder. I'm gonna get him some. We got him some water wood. I put, uh, I use one of these waters and I add a little bit of sugar in it just to kind of keep them, you know, motivated to want to drink and eat and, you know, stay alive. And today we're gonna get them some chicken start. They're so cute. And if I counted them right, I think there's 22 of them. And the incubator is still full. But the little white ones, I'm gonna, I would like to try to <clears throat> sell these little guys, the little darker ones, the little striped ones. Um, I would like to keep the little white ones because some of my white ones are the breasts. I just did my timing off whenever I put them in the incubator. But yeah. I would like to keep them and see what happens. Typically, I have pretty good luck selling my chicks. Even if they are straight run. Straight run means you're either going to get a male or a female. <clears throat> I don't sell them as sex, chi uh, sex chicks. So, you got to excuse me this morning. I have a little bit of allergy going on here. Aren't they so cute? Cute babies. I could watch the babies all day. We just dunk their beaks. So whenever you first put your chicks in your brooder box or wherever you're going to put them, make sure you dump their beaks into the water so they know where to go get some water. Look, he's very curious. How are you doing, buddy? <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at chicks galore. The incubator still got a whole bunch in it also that need to hatch. Yeah, but like and subscribe, guys, and see what we have in the next batch, in the next round here. Keep in touch. Bye.